This woman has a devilish figure and an angelic face, but her temper is very arrogant and rude. The coach scolded her and made her but jump in the air, but she says this will have to do until Hercules learns how to control his emotions. Kate took it all out on her partner after losing a competition. Kate has had 35 partners into years of competition. When she met with her 36th partner, she quietly let go of his hand because she didn't like him. The coach saw this scene and closed his eyes in despair, but her new partner wasn't pushover either. He took a personal vendetta when he lifted Kate and let go and threw her down. The two of them parted on bad terms. In fact, this man was brought in by Kate's coach in a desperate situation. Dick used to be a great ice hockey player. He used to have 300 people hoisting him over their shoulders after a game. At that time, he was very bright, but he had an accident that left him with an eye injury and could no longer play hockey. He spent the next two years working on the construction site and living in a state of limbo. He wrote countless letters to the club, but all of his letters were returned. So when Coach Kate approached him and wanted him to join the skating team, Doug wanted to get closer to the ice. He loved and said yes without hesitation. He hadn't met Kate long before he realized how bratty she was. Doug was bored and ready to leave. Listen, I don't know how many slop shots you've taken to the brain, but this was your audition. And let me assure you, it's over. The owner is Kate's father. He complained to Doug that Kate had lost her mother at a young age and that she was a talented figure skater but could never find a partner. She had become eccentric under the pressure of competition. Once she was 45 seconds away from a gold medal, Doug thought about it because it was his only chance to get back in the game. So he offered to stay if the pay was doubled. The boss agreed and kept Doug. With Kate's reluctance, the two of them started practicing their moves. To Doug, figure skating is much harder than playing field hockey because he really fell hard every day. Of course, half of his falls were due to Kate's efforts to make things difficult for him. In the end, Dad had to tie a lot of ice around his waist after falling so hard, but Doug was still very happy because here he could play field hockey while he was enjoying himself. Kate was looking at him like he was an idiot. Dad asked him to play hockey. Kate didn't hesitate to say yes, but she doesn't know how to play hockey on ice at all. And Doug didn't give in. She lost the whole game very badly. Finally, Kate lost her temper and played the field hockey puck like a golf ball. And of course she hit Doug. Kate was sitting in the hospital in a panic. She felt a little guilty. The coach left and said that Kate was scared because she had finally found a partner. Then Doug came out with his head wrapped in gauze. Kate gets more anxious and goes to greet him. Doug takes off the gauze and smiles smugly at her. He had won the game. They both came back from the hospital and started training. I've never seen a partner so disrespectful. You can never run faster than me, or I'll push you. If you do sit-ups faster, then I'll do them faster. They look at each other's bulging muscles while lifting dumbbells. Drops of sweat fall down one after another. They had to compete to be the first to arrive at practice in the morning. Today it's Duck first, then tomorrow it would be Kate first. The two of them have grown to understand each other through this competition, and they are no longer at odds with each other like before. It's Christmas time, and Doug knocks on Kate's door and presents her with a jersey he's had for 15 years. He was a little stunned when he saw Kate. Kate snatched the jersey and gave her the gift she had prepared. It's the autobiography of an ice hockey player. She also invited Doug to Christmas dinner. Kate showed up at the dinner in a beautiful bustier dress. Doug was in awe of her. When Kate found Doug, Doug was looking at pictures of their home. Kate naturally went over and straightened his suit. Then she introduced her boyfriend to Doug. Doug hadn't seen her boyfriend before because he was working out of town. Doug was a little uncomfortable looking at this man. The clock strikes zero. The people in the room kissed and said Happy New Year. When Doug and Kate came together, they turned their heads away. They only kissed each other lightly on the cheek. After Christmas break they had to customize their race suits. Doug felt uncomfortable in this competition outfit. Then they discussed which song to choose for the competition. Doug wanted something rousing and Kate wanted something soft. The two of them were talking and arguing again. The two partners still seem to be arguing with each other. But the difference is that they are becoming more and more in tune with each other. They danced beautifully on the ice and were comfortable to watch. A few days later Kate's former coach came to see her. He felt that Kate could only get a gold medal if he trained her. He felt that Doug was not a good enough partner for Kate. Kate, however, was very angry. This guy, this hockey player, is the best skater I've been on the ice with. Doug heard all of this. And then they trained harder and harder. The figure skating championships came soon after. Doug met a woman before the competition and became close to her. Kate arrives late and sees this scene and thinks it's so strange. She fidgeted in her room. 
She thought it was because she was nervous about the competition. In the end, it was her boyfriend who told the truth. Kate's boyfriend said that Kate had fallen in love with Doug. The fight between them was for play. Kate was stunned. She and her boyfriend were broken up. Soon the competition started. He was in a cold sweat before the game even started. He took one look at his partner and ran to the back and threw up. His partner was confused and thought, I'm not that ugly, am I? Doug says that's his normal pre-game routine. He used to play ice hockey with a helmet for vomiting. Kate saw that Doug was still swaying and grabbed him by the collar and told him to take a deep breath and kept reassuring him. Luckily, Doug was in shape by the time he got on the ice. They spin and jump beautifully on the ice. Their double jump was perfect. They landed drenched in sweat but in pain. On the second day of freestyle skating, they were still playing great. They had the crowd cheering and applauding with a spin. They came in third, but only the top two will go to the Olympics for their country. Doug was frustrated and felt his hard work was not paying off. Just then the second place finisher made a mistake. This meant that Doug and Kate qualified for the Olympics. The night was as indulgent as they had ever been. Doug didn't know that Kate had broken up with her boyfriend and was being very formal with her. This made Kate very unhappy. The next day, she was furious when she saw Doug living with another female competitor. The two of them spent the rest of their training days in a constant state of disagreement. In order to win the competition, the coach designed a super difficult move for them. That is, a bounce spin followed by a jump. Then Doug caught Kate. This is a very demanding move for Kate. This time, Kate was the one who kept falling. In the end, Kate was in pain and could not get up. The two of them still had expressed their love for each other. Even on the day of the Olympic Games, they were like to strangers even on the field. No understanding, no passion, although there was no mistake in their movements, but their scores were still mediocre. This made Kate very frustrated and even began to give up on herself. She told the media that they had given up the difficult moves. She later told Doug that she was ready to retire. She had known what she wanted from the competition until now. The next day's final was the last of her skating career. You won't have any trouble finding another partner. Of course they won't have. My wonderful slap shot. Doug watches in horror as Kate walks away. The coach hugged them before the game and gave them gentle encouragement and let them feel each other to please each other. It was a moment when Doug finally understood something. He grabbed Kate a minute before he went on the court and said how much he had loved her. He made it very clear that he loved Kate. The aura changed when they came back on stage. The two of them were so in tune with each other. Every spin and jump was a great one. And finally, they played trump card. Their performance was a visual feast. Doug and Kate embraced and kissed the applause of the audience. This is the end of the story. The Cutting Edge film was released in 1992. This couple is so compatible because they both have a never give up mentality. They train day in and day out in the pursuit of perfection and keep pushing the limits to push themselves. This kind of mutually supportive couple can always live a very happy life no matter where they are.